Okay, we're back. I'm still obsessed with these, um, <laughs> uh, with a veining kind of effect. So what I might do is, I just want to see if I can create something in this mold, which already has veins, but I just want to see what happens. So I'm just going to saturate. I might add a little bit of alcohol just to thin this down a little bit more. This is a teal blue epoxy paste. Thinned down. So I just want to go in everywhere a little bit. Because I don't have a lot of it, so it's going to be a skinny one. Maybe. We'll see. Okay, I'm going to need my little stick. And I am going to spread it all around and everywhere. Okay, so I just want to spread it out. So it covers the whole area. And there too. And all the way up here. Now this one is going to be quite interesting. And now I'm going to go around with my satin white. Same thing, everywhere, a little bit. I'm going to leave enough just for my clear. Because I think the clear really helps. So let's see. Right in the middle. Oh yeah, it's not going to be a skinny mini. I've got enough there to cover the whole mold and then some. That's enough. And, oh god, that looks pretty already. Already looks gorgeous. Beautiful. Alright, let's leave her alone now. Sorry about the messy. I didn't have a chance to clean it because I just unmolded it today with something else that I had in. Oh yes, heat gun. Just a little bit. Righto. That is that okay, so here's my dragonfly. I pulled him out a bit too soon, so he's still flexible, which is pretty cool because then you can make some shapes and things with, with him. I wrecked his tail a little bit. Um, try to fix that. I was just too impatient. But yes, you definitely can get those extra veins. So the real dark ones are part of the the mold and then you have all those other ones in between really pretty really pretty alrighty I just need you to see how this is coming to life now with just adding some resin to it so this is the one that I did the other day I've posted a video on YouTube but look at that see the difference there and this is all I'm doing I am just dipping my finger into whatever leftover resin I have in there which is not a lot and just going in between and rubbing it on no sanding no nothing just straight up and then you can see that abalone now pop in. Couldn't see it before on this side, but now it's all coming to life, which is great. I suppose you can, you could use a brush, but I don't like wasting my brushes when I can just use my fingers like this. And look at that. See, you can actually see that abalone underneath there now. That is that. So just go around and make sure that it's all covered. And then I'm going to grab my other one, which looks pretty 
dull as well and then pop my fingers in here see there's not a lot there and just go in between my fingers fit just perfectly in there you can already see the difference see the difference between the two one's shiny one's pretty matte looking sorry I keep coming off screen it's very satisfying doing this too and the reason why I'm just rubbing it on like this instead of just pouring it on is I don't want any leaks on the other side because I quite like the other side and this works beautifully and that's it now I'm just going to leave them and let them sit and uh, that'll be it